Hey Run Junkies, in the last couple of weeks I've been showing you some of my favorite moves for cooling down and stretching and foam rolling after a run. But what about our pre-run warm up and preparation? If you're like me, you like to get up early and get your early morning run in before you get your day started, but we just spent all night in bed relaxing, so everything is asleep. Your muscles are still relaxed and we haven't had time yet to wake up, so how do we jump start? that process. I personally like to do some dynamic warm-up and stretching before I start my run. So what exactly is a dynamic warm-up? Well, last week I told you that stretching cold, which means stretching before any activity, may do more harm than good. The same can't really be said for a dynamic warm-up. There's a series of exercises that we can do before we start running, like skips and lunges, that will help us get the blood flowing to the muscles that we're about to be using for that run. These moves wake up your body and get you ready to work out. In a Runner's World article I've left a link to in the description below, a dynamic warm-up will raise your core body temperature, increase blood flow to the muscles, and improve your range of mo motion, especially to the big muscles that we'll be using for our runs. You may also experience increased flexibility, which will also help your performance during your workout. The best time to do your dynamic warm-up is right before you head out for your run, but it really doesn't take that much time. Five to 10 minutes is really all you need just to get the blood flowing to the muscles. I've left several resources to a lot of different dynamic warm-up routines in the description below. You can pick and choose the, your favorite ones and put them together in a five to 10 minute routine, or you can just follow one all the way through to the end. I've been doing the train like a mother club silly toes routine for more than a year, and I tell you, it has made a huge difference in my running performance and efficiency. Before I get started, I want to remind you I am not a coach, physical therapist, trainer, anything like that. So if you have any questions or concerns about any of the moves I'm doing, please consult a professional. So here are a few of the exercises that I do before every run. I start out with the train like a mother club, pigeon toes and penguin toes, I guess. She calls them silly toes and they, that's exactly how you feel when you do them, but it's, I tell you, it makes all the difference in the world. So the first thing you're gonna do is get up on your calves, okay? Excuse me, get up on your toes like so, but I need to show you this from the front because what you wanna do is turn your toes in, but from the hip. So I kinda need to, as I'm standing here, okay? So you're turning it in from the hip, which means that your toes are pointed inward. Now, all I really do is about 30 seconds of these, okay? I'll do 10 on each side, and it's not a big move, but you can definitely feel it activated all the way up the leg, okay? And to turn around, you turn your toes out, and once again, you're turning from the hip. That's what, think of it like a ballet dancer. That's what they do. They squeeze their glutes, and they turn from the hip as opposed to from the ankles. So. I just go back the other way, 30 seconds or so. And it really does help your balance. So I do those, then I do from the, uh, then I work from my ankles. So I'll do the same thing, but I'm back on my heels and I'm lifting my toes up off the floor. So again, turning my feet in from the hips, I walk forward. Again, not big moves, but I really wanna concentrate on everything that is happening from the waist down. I feel everything activating here in the hip flexors and the glutes. And then to go back the other way, I turn my feet out, I lift my toes up, I squeeze my glutes and I walk forward. Now, it's a lot harder than it looks because when you're just turning from your ankle, that's one thing. But if you're turning from your hips, that's where you notice it. So. Those are the silly toes. Another thing that Coach MK Fleming likes to use is the butt kicks. Now you can do these in a variety of different ways. A lot of people do them as a jump, but I like to just stand static and really concentrate on the hamstring kick. So all we're doing, we're standing still and we work one side at a time. And all it is, you stand straight up, you stack your torso over your hips and you just pull and it's almost like an explosive move in the hamstring. So you're not going, Ugh! 
you want to make sure that you're using that hamstring to get it up as fast as you can. Sorry, I said one side at a time. So I do 10 on each side, and then I switch on the other side, okay? And what that is doing is really activating that hamstring. So 30 seconds per side, if you wanna alternate, you can do that. Uh, the other thing I like to do are a some type of leg raise. Again, you'll see a wide variety of this type of move where the leg is pulling up in front of you. That activates the hip flexors and the quads because that's what pulls our leg forward as we're running. So what we wanna do, we stand static again, and all we have to do, stand straight up, look straight ahead, and pull the knee up. Now these I definitely like to do back and forth because that's how we run, right? We alternate legs. That is the basic, okay? I have actually started to modify this a little bit because I feel like this doesn't really warm me up anymore. So what another thing you can do is a straight leg kick. If you have strong and flexible hamstrings, you can bring your leg up like this. Only as far as is comfortable, okay? You're, this is not a Rockettes kick, okay? So you can bring one leg up and alternate. And I actually feel this in the hamstring as well, which actually feels pretty good. The other thing you can do to add to this is some kind of spinal twist. So I'm gonna angle it out a little bit. Bring one hand, two, <laughs> I can't talk and do this at the same time. One hand to the opposite foot, okay? I also like to do this warm up uh, with an elbow to the knee. So you can do it this way and really get that spinal twist. And what that does is warms up your core. So all of these muscles in here, your obliques and your spinal erectors, this is gonna get everything moving from the shoulders down, okay? And now that works a lot of our legs, but we also might wanna do some arm circles, okay? That gets the shoulders moving because we don't run like this. Okay, we run like this. We wanna make sure that we're getting our shoulders warmed up too. So do some arm circles, okay, both directions. I have a link in the description below to a run experience video. Holly walks you through warming up uh, the shoulders and the upper body to get you ready for that arm swing. Other exercises you might do are the forward lunge. However, before you do that, I want to make very clear that if you have knee problems, hip problems of any kind, this kind of forward motion can actually cause more problems than solve, okay? So I actually do have some runner knee issues. So instead of doing the forward lunge where I'm almost jamming that fr front foot forward, I stand static. I leave one foot planted and I reach back like so. So I'm still getting this. All of this is activating without that forward plant, okay? So I just do a few of these. I might do eight tops on each leg, okay? These I don't alternate because I don't wanna mess up my balance. So once I have my foot firmly planted, I'll just do a bunch of these and then I'll switch legs. Another move that I'm actually gonna start adding into my dynamic warm up is the star touch. So you plant your feet wide and arms out and then you just swing down, keeping your back straight, and that's going to activate your torso, okay, your shoulders, and all of those balancing muscles in your hips and your uh, inner thighs. So that's the star touch. This one is a little bit more advanced, especially if you have balance issues like me. So this is what one resource calls the runner's touch. I've seen it as a reverse pistol squat. I've seen it as um, a deadlift, a one-legged deadlift, but call it what you will. You will stand both feet planted and then put all of the weight on one foot. You're going to keep everything in line as you hinge forward from the hips, okay? Now, if you're really advanced, you might reach down and touch your toes. I'm not going to do that. What that does, it activates all of the muscles in the standing leg. It activates the back because you don't want to do this. You don't want to actually like pull back this way. 
You want to let everything all think about it as one line from the shoulder to the hip to the knee to the foot. Okay. And just do a few of those. And that really gets everything moving. Exercises. There are other exercises that I like to do, including the skip. So what you're going to do is plant and hop up, right? It's like you've been doing on the playground your whole life. So it's skipping, but it's not a lot of forward motion. You want to make sure you're actually activating the hip and all of those explosive muscles that you're using to get off the ground. Okay. And this one you can do standing in place. This is another one from the Train Like a Mother Club and it's the kick. Okay. You're really letting your legs swing forward to back and you're feeling the stretch in the hamstring here and the quad on the swing back, quad, hamstring, quad, hamstring. That's more of a stretch really than anything, but it really gets the hips moving as well. All you need is five to 10 minutes before your run to do maybe five or six of these exercises, 30 to 60 seconds a piece. That's really all you need. As you can see, it doesn't take a lot to really get yourself moving before a run, but please remember, this isn't a heavy weight workout. This isn't to just build strength or flexibility. This is just to get blood flowing to your muscles. You don't wanna overexert yourself before you start your run. So what do you think? Have you ever tried any of these dynamic warmups? And if so, what was the result? How do you like them? What are your favorite exercises? Leave your thoughts, questions, and comments in the box below. And as always, give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Also head over to gofindyourawesome.com to see a complete list of all of the dynamic warmups that I use before every single run. But that is it for me today. Thank you so much for watching. Get out there, go find your awesome. Until next time, happy running.